Hey, you are most welcome to my channel. So today, I'm just going to take you through a uh, GitHub basic usage if you're a beginner. And today, I'm just going to be fixing this waving flag on my portfolio. That's my landing page on GitHub. That's a special report that I created. Basically, this special report is basically um, the name. You create a report that actually has uh, the same username of your github so that's why it automatically appears to everyone so uh, i'm going to be cloning this then um show you how you can edit just do basic uh, git commands and uh, yeah so i'll go to repos and then under repos uh usually it's the first one because it's being updated all the time so i'll click on it and if you're new here, my name is Ronnie Atwayre and I'm glad that you chose this particular channel for my video. So I'm going to be doing a quick fix of this waving flag here. And for me to be able to do this fix, uh, I'm just going to do uh, to copy this. So you click on code, then you copy after copying it. Then you can go to your folder where you want to have... Um, uh, where you want to, to clone this so you just use the first command you are seeing here is clone so you say git clone the url then you click enter it will be cloning to uh, Ronlin automatically it clones into that repo name so basically here it's cloning into Ronlin 1 so after it is done um, we shall be able to cd into uh, that uh, particular repo or a particular folder created so um the fix we shall be doing as i said is just going to be uh something small as you can see i have just this extensions and octa tree just telling me what basically is happening i have some workflows that actually are running this uh, these metrics uh, behind and um yeah so i just want to say this uh, it's the main goal of this video by just using the basic git commands so if I come back here, we see that we're still at 12%. I don't know what's wrong. Um, yes, it's getting there. 97, 98. Uh, let me just expand this. So it's done. So if it's done, you can just CD. Let me just change uh, this color here. Uh, just CD into a uh, run lane that has been created. Uh, if you checked, this is what actually is entailed under that um, uh, that, pot, that repo. So if I open this in VS Code, I'm going to be opening this in VS Code. I will just do code uh, period. So if I open this in VS Code, it automatically opens this uh, folder. So if we let me just close this. Uh, so what we need to change is actually the readme file. This is what actually being rendered uh, as a default page there. So you can see uh, if you don't know uh, what exactly README is, you could uh, uh, read an article I wrote something back. I will be leaving the link in the description. And um, this is actually a waving flag. So if you go back to the repo, for example, and I did, you could do the edit from here, but I just wanted to simulate something from basic git commands. And um, if you checked uh, the readme file from the real stuff you see that this is actually a waving flag which has high there and this is the image source I got it from somewhere else uh, from actually another github user I feel free also to copy this and uh, it has a width of 30 so if you do a preview it automatically tells us what is happening you see so this is the current uh, style it's too big and this css is not good so that's what we're just trying to fix so if you come back to uh, uh vs code so i'm just going to add something small here i'm just going to say height then uh height i'll be giving it a height uh, maybe of also uh, 30 pixels let me do 30 pixels too so uh, after doing that uh, i think we are good to go so i could now come um if you see you modify anything it automatically tells you to actually modify something so if you come back to your command line and just say uh, git status 
uh, this is under the second command that you're looking at so if you do git status it will tell you what exactly has been changed so i've just modified the readme so this is not being tracked and uh, for us to be able now to add these two to the track to be tracked uh, to push the changes to the main so we we'll just need to uh, we we'll just need to, to do add so uh, it's what I'm gonna do right now so I'm just do I'm just going to do git add so I'm just going to do period add everything but you could just say add what you just modified here but I'll just do git add period this is usually good if you have made a lot of changes to different files so uh, it will return nothing but if you do git status again it will show you that now it's actually being uh, added and it's waiting for the changes to be committed so from there now we could now actually do um we could now just do git commit we're going to commit these changes and that's a message uh variable that you're going to put here so we can just say uh fixed uh, fixed waving flag I could just say fixed waving flag then I do enter so you can trace what exactly what has happened so if I called uh, git status again you'd see that actually now there's nothing to commit you're working track clean but one thing that you're actually remaining to do is to do a git push to public our local commits to the remote repo so if we did uh, git push so this is another git, stat, uh, git command you're looking at so you could just do git push and that's it just because you're actually working clean in um, in this current repo you don't need to add git push your origin master or whatever you could just do a uh, git push and you press enter and uh, just a second it's loading so uh, as you've seen uh, it has actually uh, written our stuff to mine if you wanted you could have actually uh, created a new branch with git branch uh, checkout or whatever you want but i was just pushing to mine and this is basic uh, github usage and We've just learned a few commands that will actually get you going so if you go back to uh, a github profile so if you clicked back to the repo if I click back to the change uh, to the file you'll see that actually uh, we have a change here yes something has changed so if you clicked on the repo for example I've just clicked here okay let me just click it shows that one minute ago it has been updated so if you click and you see that I've actually I see I have created uh, I've changed as you can see here the fix is here I've just done it automatically comes on top it says fixed waving flag and that's two minutes ago and you can see now this is something maybe looking nice now this is at least better yeah that's it and uh, yeah and I think uh, from here you've learned a few basic git commands that can get you started thank you so much I'm leaving my github link in the description please feel free uh, to follow me and yeah thanks for choosing this particular kind of video on my channel please feel free to subscribe yeah see you in the next video have a blessed one